Hey, this is Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm at Ballet West Academy and I'm with Layla today and we're going to do a point shoe fitting for twisting shoes. So if you have a shank that twists off your heel, this is the video for you. So currently, Layla is in the Grishko 2007s, yes. correct? Okay, so we're gonna take a look at those first. So go ahead and put the 2007s. While she's putting it on, I will describe what the 2007 is. So 2007 is a, is a Russian shoe. It's pretty tapered and it has a longer vamp when it comes to bigger sizes. So Layla is actually quite wide in the metatarsal and pretty high in the profile. So um, this wouldn't have been the first choice for me, at least if I was just looking at her foot shape, but I wanna see what these shoes do so that we can fix any problems that we have. Step up onto point. So Layla has very, very pretty feet but this is what happens when the shoe is a little bit too tapered for you or if it doesn't fit in your foot shape. First position and step up onto point. So if you look at her foot from the side, she looks like she's cycling a tiny bit and that's mostly because the shoes are too tapered so she's going backwards. And uh, the left foot is her weaker ankle but um, we can probably fix that with a wider platform. So she is actually a little bit too lifted out of her point shoes because the shoes are so tapered that her foot's not actually all the way inside of it. And then the second problem that I'm seeing is that the shank is not completely on her heel. And again, that's one of the problems that you have if you have a shoe that's a little bit too tapered for you. So go ahead and take those off. So we're gonna try a shoe that is a little bit wider in the platform. Uh, this is her second pair of point shoes um, that she's stuck with all these years. So she just got <laughs> fitted for her second pair of point shoes, and I'm sure that at that time, well, how many years? How many years ago was this? Uh, maybe about three years ago. Okay, so three years ago, these might have been perfect for her, but your feet change, mm -hmm. especially if you've been on. The longer you're on point the buffer your feet gets <laughs> and then like the more buffer your feet gets it gets wider and it gets more muscular so your foot actually changes throughout your point career so even professionals should get fitted every six months or so and depending on the season depending on the week uh, your, your feet might be different so we're going to do a little update on your point shoes <laughs> it has kind of a wider platform and it's, it has a lot more space in here so it will fit her profile a little bit better so that her shoes are not twisting off of her off of her feet so let's go ahead and put that one on <laughs> It's fitting her profile really nicely. So when you're going from a really tapered shoe to a wider platform, you tend to feel your toes a little bit more because you're at the end of the shoe um, instead of being kind of hovering over uh, in the inside of your shoe. Can you stand up for me? The shoe is actually twisting much less and it's a lot straighter on their heel. Um, and that's the result of having a shoe that is wide enough, deep enough, and broad enough so that her foot is sitting in her point shoes nice and straight. Bring your left foot up on point, and then press up on both. Okay, do you have any injuries on your left ankle? Yes, I have a possible ostrogonum. Okay, so that's something that we want to also keep in mind when we're fitting point shoes because one might be weaker than the other. So from this angle, she's not cycling anymore. Can you go into fifth position for me? Step up onto point. So this is a shoe called a, a a Pro 90. So what that means is that the platform is really flat, but I'm noticing in this particular maker, it's still slightly rounded in the platform, so it's not quite the 90, the sharp edges that you see in a lot of other point shoes that are supposed to be really flat in the platform. So she has really nice feet, and um, especially with an injury, one of the things that we want to make sure that you are cognizant about is uh, that you're stable inside your point shoes. So um, if you have a more tapered um, shoe that you're twisting out of, then you're not as stable and you're probably struggling a little bit on point. So you wanna make sure that you have a wider platform that, that you're more stable in, especially if you have really pretty feet like this that are nice and um, straight. Her toes are pretty even across the board. So why not have a wider platform if you can afford to do that? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>